Now, King Charles, hurrah, will attend Windsor's Easter church service after worries that his ongoing treatment for cancer would prevent him. Good news. Well, doctors have reportedly advised the king to reduce his workload and avoid the risks associated with larger crowds. The royal guest list for the service will therefore be considerably smaller, dubbed Easter Light. Well, we're joined now by royal commentator and host of To Die For Daily podcast, Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, good morning. Now, people will be very pleased to see the king out and about on Sunday, won't they? I absolutely agree with you. I think this is the best news. You know, Peter Phillips told uh, Sky Australia over the weekend that the king was very frustrated uh, that the treatment was taking so long because he was so eager to get back to work and to be the face of the royal family and and to give, I believe, um, you know, everyone comfort in this time where we're all really concerned about the royal family and their health scares. So it will bring a lot of smiles across people's faces to see the king out and about uh, pictures of him at on Easter with multiple members of the family. It is being dubbed Easter light. We won't see the Prince and Princess of Wales, um, but so much excitement around the return of the King. Um, I I'm just going to cut in for a minute. Um, I just want to say um, it's 10 to midnight, isn't it, in Los Angeles? It is, yes. In 10 minutes' time, happy birthday, Princess. <laughs> thank, thank you. It's hard sharing a birthday with Mariah Carey and Fergie, so okay. I really appreciate oh, yeah. that. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> but happy birthday. Listen, 21 happy again. Birthday, and and you tomorrow. have been the most wonderful person throughout the last couple of years. We loved having you on. But happy birthday, Kinsey Scobell. I had to jump it in. It is her birthday here, by the it way, it, yeah, so we can say happy birthday to you. She's in the land of Thanks. sunshine and, <laughs> and fake teeth in L.A., where, where it is 10 to 11. How, how are you celebrating your birthday? Doing 100 interviews? about the royal family, probably. I'm going whale watching. I love whale watching. That is my... That's what I do on my downtime. That's amazing. Royal watcher <laughs> and whale watcher. Sorry, um, not <laughs> whales watching. Did you get that? Very good. Oh, Prince nice. Are so you literally clever. going whale watching? That's why they pay you the big bucks. Yes, I love <laughs> whale watching and dolphins. There's sea lions everywhere. I, it's a thrill. Good. Well, it's send amazing. us some pictures. Sorry, I know this is slightly off track. This is brilliant. <laughs> Whale watching. I love it. Brilliant. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Fabulous. Who else Thank are we you. expecting to see at the Easter service, Kinsey? Do we think Prince Andrew's going to make another oh, sort of surely soft not. public appearance? Well, he was there last year. Is that correct? Well, we saw him at Sandringham for Christmas, remember? Yeah. I think that that's um, a very... I think that that's a, a, a likelihood. You know, another thing we're seeing circulating is that um, Princess Beatrice might be thrust back into the limelight a little bit to support the royal family. I'm not too sure if that's the case, though, with two scripted dramas on the horizon about Andrew's relationship with Epstein. And if, if they stick to the story, Princess Beatrice was right there in the room and, uh, you know, experienced that that interview live. I, I'm, I'm going to throw... It's not um, it's something I've heard. I'm not sure if it's true. Eugene is quite close to Harry and Meghan, isn't he? Isn't she? Yeah. And yeah, actually, she the does, sisters... She... The sisters are quite split, aren't they? Because you, it, this one that you've just said, uh, Beatrice, uh, is closer to William and Kate. You wonder whether the games are going to continue and the thing will be fractured even further down the middle. Well, there were rumors for a while that Eugenie might be looking at a place to live in the States. True. And, you know, she was at the Super Bowl with Prince Harry one year. So, yes, very close still. Interesting. We might as well talk about Harry. Um, uh, a front page of The Sun today. Lawsuit links Duke with rapper. This is the story that... Can I can't say his name. Is it Combs or Coombs? It's P uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs. Can you tell us what these allegations are? We saw pictures in the UK, I think yesterday, wasn't it, of these mansions in wherever being ransacked Raven. by the FBI. This morning, we he's a sex trafficking case. Yeah, I just want to stress, and I've seen I've seen um, a lot of the comparisons to Epstein and Andrew. This is not the case. There is no proof that Prince Harry nurtured any type of relationship with Sean P. Diddy Combs. His name is mentioned in a $30 million lawsuit, I believe, by the accuser to elevate the status of this lawsuit. You know, he's trying to, within the pages of, of the lawsuit, prove Prince Harry's power. P. Diddy's power by association with Prince Harry, but th these photos are from 2007. In a, a two, 2011 interview with Graham Norton, Diddy, you know, jokes about Harry, and it's clear that these two don't have a relationship with each other. So I just think that this is the accuser trying to garner more attention for this um, lawsuit and trying to legitimize his lawsuit a little bit more by adding the glitz and glamour of, of throwing Prince Harry under the bus. And you know, I, I I'm going to get in trouble for saying that Prince Harry. People, you know, 
people are going to be mad at me for for giving him the benefit of the doubt here, but I think this is a nothing burger. Yeah, and interesting, and actually that photo that was on screen there with, with Harry uh, and Kanye and P. Diddy, I believe that's Prince William in the background. You know, Prince William was yeah. at that event. Um, it that's just seems really... That's certainly been said. Yeah, been said. Well, he, yeah, he was there. So it just seems odd to kind of... Yeah, I think that's well, I think, William I, on the left-hand side I think, side I think the most in the interesting comment is what Kinsey said. This is patently the accuser trying to blow up the importance of their law cut suit. But let's not oversimplify that this is another very, very famous rapper or person from the United States facing potentially... Well, exactly. It's like what we were talking about earlier. I wish the focus here was on sex somebody who's... Yeah, on, on somebody who's been accused of sex crimes rather than, you know, it conveniently being used as, uh, you know, against somebody else, in this case, Prince Harry. Um, um, there are rumours... We spoke about Beatrice earlier. Um, there are rumours, Kinsey, that she might actually become a working royal, not just that she will step up her duty, but actually yeah. officially become a working member of the royal family. Yeah, and I, I just um, don't see that happening with the associ association of Prince Andrew and the Duchess of York. I, I'm honestly, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like uh, we automatically associate her with her mother and mm. father, who uh, don't have, you know, the cleanest of resumes when it comes to being. But it's quite interesting the old. Kins, it's quite interesting the old rehabilitation thing. Many people have said to me over the years that Prince Charles is actually terrible at confrontation, and the fact that he's, you know. <laughs> his dreadful brother, dishonourable brother, was able to lead the family or be there at Sandringham. Fergie, who I happen to like, by the way, but but there you go. Uh, she seems to be back in the fall. It wouldn't surprise me, but it's all about context, really. And it, it always amazes me that we're talking about a slimmed-down mon monarchy and then you've got these, these people still getting air miles. But listen, happy birthday, Kinsey! Thank you. Thank you very Five much. Five minutes to go. I love and the both of you. <laughs> whale watching. I hope you have an amazing time. I'm very jealous. Are you? Yeah, <laughs> I'd love to go whale watching. There's a line there and I'll just get a punch in the face. Yes, he will, as he deserves. Thank you so much, happy Kinsey, birthday, and happy sweetheart. birthday for four minutes' time. Well.